shouldn't be standing here. Uh, that's Sister Cooper preached a while ago. Pastor, she just, just let me finish and done. No, oh, she should have finished and done. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. I just want to greet the Holy Spirit this morning. Who is the means of us? Glory be to God. The one who walks alongside us. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. To the man and woman of God, Pastor Delroy and Pastor Evan Chambers. Glory be to God. The viewers, everyone across the board in their respective places. Yes. I greet you in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Glory be to God. It's a privilege this morning. I don't take it lightly. It's a privilege to stand in the presence one more time to honor him, glory be to God, and give him all the praise and your honor and the glory because he deserves our praise this morning. Come on, somebody. As I normally say, my alarm clock did not wake me up this morning. It only alerts me. It only makes a bug and nice glory be to God. But God has woke me up another morning and I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to Almighty God because you deserve the honor, the glory, and the praise. Amen. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. My scripture this morning will be coming from Ephesians 2, from 1 to 7. And then I'm going to go over to Psalm, Psalm 73 and verse 26. Glory be to God. Ephesians 2, from 1 to 7. And you at ye quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the here, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times passed in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, come on, somebody say, but God. But God, but God who is rich in mercy, yes. for his great love, where it he love us. Even when we were dead in sins, and couldn't us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ. Psalm 73 and verse 26. My flesh and my heart faileth. But God, come on, somebody say, but God again. But God. but God is the strength of my heart yes. and my portion forever. Yes. Glory be to God and the word has already been blessed. Amen. My topic this morning is two simple words. But God. Yes. Somebody say, but God. but God. I heard um, Sister Deacon um, touch a little part of it, but God. Glory be to God. That's a God. That must be a con confirmation. And so the word but is a common word that most of us use while speaking or having a conversation. Glory be to God. And so we will find it necessary at times to drop it in our daily conversation. Glory be to God. If I should get a little deeper in the English language, it is also a conjunction that can be used to change the narrative of a story. Yeah. Bear with me, I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. When the word but is mentioned in a conversation, it signifies that some changes yeah. or action are about to come right. into play. Right. It can either nullify or contradict a statement yeah. that was mentioned before. Oh. Glory be to God. Right. Either it will change for the better, I change for the worse. Yeah. But nevertheless, it normally changes something or has a whole different meaning to whatever you are about to say. Bless the name of the Lord. The scripture said, my flesh and my heart fail. Come on, somebody. But God, 
Somebody say, but God. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion. Glory be to God. That signifies whatever I seem weak, dead, concealed, disorganized, cancel, dried up, broken, nullify in the backside of your life. But when God intervenes, there must be some changes. Glory be to God. Either you will change or your situation will change. But there must be some form of changes. Glory be to God. God can take the shattered pieces of your life, glue them together with his love, and made them even more stronger in the places that they were weak. Because he is a restorer. He is a repairer. Glory be to God. I hear a rock songwriter said, I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus keeps me from our wrong. Glory be to God. Somebody bless the name of the Lord this morning. Somebody shout in the house this morning. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. I know a lot of us, before we got saved, we used to do terrible things. Yes. yes. yes, yes. We used to do terrible things out there in the world. Amen. Glory be to I'm getting there, Pastor. All right, all right, all right. Bless the name of God. Because we were sinners. And so we did things that sinners do. Glory be to yes. God. Bless the name of the Lord. Some of us usually steal. Yes, that's me. Some were drinkers. Yes, Some were scammers. Amen. Some were gamblers. Jesus. Some were smokers. Some were liars. Glory be. My pastor often preaches that he just keeps started. He said that, not me. So we all used to do, do something that was right in the will of God. Because we were sinners, glory be to God. And sinners' job is to sin. But you see, when God intervened, glory be to God, and washed us with his blood, the songwriter said, all things have passed away. And behold, all things become new. Someone come and somebody. Things that you usually do before, you do them no more. Places we used to go, we go there no more. Because there was an intervention from God that changes our life. Glory be to God. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house this morning. I remember... Before I got saved, I usually wear an anklet on my foot. And even when I got saved, I still was wearing the anklet because at the time it had looked so appealing to me. And so I decided that I was going to wear my anklet because, you know, I did not see nothing wrong with it. And you many of us, when we just got saved or baptized, we still try to hang on. We still try to hang on to something. We said, I'm going to some certain clothes, glory be to God. Because we know that we had paid, you know, a good amount of money for it. So we didn't want to get rid of it. Glory be to God. So we just don't, didn't get um, saved today and then, you know, give up everything tomorrow. Do you agree with me with that? Amen. We didn't get saved today and tomorrow we give up everything. Amen. It take, comes, you know, step by step, glory be to God. And so we still try to hang on to certain things, glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. But when the Spirit of God convicts you. Fly higher, fly lower. Yes. You have to let it go. Yes. You have to let it go. Yes. And sometimes the things that you hang on to, you realize that those things were, was no, is not appealing to you anymore. No. And you wonder, my God, I used to wear those things. True. Because no, it doesn't look appealing to you anymore. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Because there was an intervention from God. And when God intervened in your life, things have to change. Your wardrobe has to change. No more malfunction wardrobe where things are hanging out, dropping off and everything like that. Your life has to change. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. I heard one songwriter said, I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things are passed away. I'm born again. Come on, somebody. That signifies we used to do things before we did them no more. Amen. Places we used to go, we go there no more. Sardis we used to keep, we steal them no more. Right Clothes that we used to wear, we wore no more. Come on, somebody. Because of the intervention, glory be to God. You see, God stripped you down and changed everything about you. He changed your walking, your talking. Glory be to God. Everything that doesn't belong to you, change Glory be to God. Your dressing, glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house. Somebody shout glory in the house. The glory be to God. God is the source of every situation. Even when it looks like 
nothing is not working out, Amen. just pray and leave it up to God. Because sometimes we try to figure out some stuff. We try to figure out some stuff, glory be to God, when God already work it out. I repeat myself. Sometimes we try to figure out some stuff when God already work it out. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Because I didn't know that I could ever stand here. I didn't know that I could ever stand here after what I have been through four years ago. After losing my husband in less than a week. Someone who usually treats me like there was no other woman existing in the world. And so, when I lose him, I almost lost my mind. Can I be real? Can I be real? I always lost my mind. But God. But God. I felt as if I could not make it to the next day. I would just sit in one position. I would just sit in one position in my bedroom for hours and hours with all lights off. I didn't want to see nobody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I just wanted to be by myself. Which was a sign of depression, minister. Glory be to God. Bless me. Somebody say, but God. But God. But God, I have three mirrors in my bedroom at a time. And I was scared to look in the mirror. Because I know there was something not right with me. There was something going on with me. And so when I finally looked in the mirror, I could see myself in the graveyard clothes. I was ready. I was ready. Glory be to God, bless the name of the Lord. My face was caving in. I look, I was like, I was suffering from, from malnutrition. Glory be to God, bless the name of the Lord. I didn't went to work for six months. And I almost lost my job. When HR called me and said, you're this close to losing your job. I said, mighty God, I didn't want to work. I didn't want to come to church. Can I be real? I didn't want to come to church because I want to God. Why? But God. 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 All I can say is but God. Because sometimes God does some things that time. And to us it made no sense. It made no sense. Glory be to God. But guess what? God show up in the nick of time. He shows up in the nick of time. And he schooled me up and rescued me. He took me out of the graveyard clothes. And he said, Sister Lawrence, he said, my daughter, I'm not finished with you yet. Glory be to God. I have work for you to do. He give me joy again. He give me joy beyond understanding. He give me peace again. And thank God. I can say, look at me now. Look at me now. I don't look like what I've been through. But God. But God. But God. Yes, I have my moments of flashback. But I thank God that he was and he's still my present help in times of trouble. Glory be to God. I said, just when the enemy thought he had me, but God came and he grabbed me. Glory be to God. If I just could have two people to shout in the house, but God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. But God, but God, but God. Do you have a but God testimony this morning? You have a but God testimony this morning, Sister Cooper. Ah, oh, but God dance this morning. Ah, oh, glory be to God. But God, pick me up and He turned me around and He planted my feet, not in the graveyard, but on the higher ground. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. This brings me to the topic of Joseph. Joseph had a but God moment. 
I said, Joseph had a but God moment. When his brothers were envious of him, come on, somebody. And wants to get rid of him. They attack him and tore off his coat. Then threw him in a pit. Glory be to God. And if that weren't enough, they sold him for 20 pieces of silver. Not only that, but when he reached Egypt and started to work in Potiphar's house, glory be to God, they falsely accused him. He was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife. And then he was thrown into jail. But little did he know that God had a plan for him. Glory be to God. God had a plan for him. God already mapped out his life. Tell somebody, don't worry yourself. Because God already mapped out my life. Glory be to God. God already figured it out. God already sought me out. Glory be to God. So tell somebody, don't try to figure out nothing. Because God already worked it out. Because we always do that. Try to figure out stuff. Try to figure out stuff. I want God to work it out. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. You see, God showed up at the appointed time. That's the kind of God we serve. Just when Joseph thought that maybe he would have been in prison for the rest of his life. God already worked it out. I said Joseph went from the pit to the palace. Of course he went through his process. Because that was a part of his elevation. But God rescued him. Come on somebody. And elevate him. Tell somebody when your time comes for God to elevate you. Nothing can stop you. Believe it. Nothing can stop you. He went from butler boy to a king. It's sometimes you have to be careful. How we treat people. Yes. For real. Yes. We have to be careful how we treat people in life. Yes. Because things can backfire. Yes. Because Joseph's brothers didn't know that you would have seen Joseph alive again. Yes. More than just him sitting in a palace. Giving the, the, um, his brothers orders. Glory be to God. And so his brothers were so shocked. They could not understand how someone who they had sold to the slave traders end up in a palace. My God. Uh, in the book of Genesis, verse 18 said, And his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we by thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, he thought evil, come on somebody. He thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good to bring it to pass, come on somebody. At is this day to stay with people alive. Tell somebody what the enemy meant for bad. God will turn it around for your good. I believe in a song that said, What the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around. Turn it around, what the enemy meant for evil. God will turn it around for my good. What the enemy meant for evil. Then God will turn it around, turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil. God will turn it around for my good. Glory be to God, best of the Lord. Tell somebody what the enemy meant for bad. God will turn it around for your good glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. If, if some of us should do a flashback. Come on, just do a flashback sometimes in our life. And remember that time when you almost threw in the towel. That time when the doctor gave up on you. Gave you the bad news. Glory be to God about your health. Your result now looking good. And the doctors run out of option. Yes, doctors are good, but sometimes they run out of options too. Because they are not God. And so they gave upon you. Because that sickness was bigger than what they could have handled. Glory be to God. But tell somebody, when man gives up on you, come on somebody. God never gave up on you. Because he is the remedy. He is the doctors of all the doctors. Tell somebody, just hold on. Because God's not finished with you.
keep me yet. I'm just going through my storm. I'm just going through my test. Come on, somebody. I'm just going through a little turbulence right now. The wind is kind of gusty right now. But I'm going to fast in my seatbelt. Oh, glory be to God. I'm hung on under the storm. Calm down. I'm going to hang on until the storm passes by. Because as long as God is still in control, I'm going to land safely. Come on, somebody. I must come out victoriously. I'm going to bounce back like a rubber ball. If I could only get two pairs in the house, I should but God. You think that only have a but God moment yet? Only have a but God moment yet. Me have a but God moment. So me have a short but God. Sometimes you have been in a situation and you wonder where is God. You wonder if God got on vacation. Even though you are praying and you still have not seen no result. And you wonder if God went somewhere and turned him back on you. But I want to encourage somebody today. You just hold on. The journey may look long and dreary. But I heard Psalm 27 verse 14 said, We are thank the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. What is a but God moment? What is a but God moment? A but God moment is that when everything is done in your life. Or when the sun is shining, or when your head is good, or your bank account looking good. A but God moment is when you run out of options. Come on, somebody. You run out of resources. You get depleted. Your back is against the wall. Everything around you looks dark and dreary. You feel hopeless. You feel helpless. It seems like a mountain are caving on you. You don't know where the next rent is coming from. Glory be to God. You don't know who to turn to. Friends and family ignore you. And all you have to do you just call out for Jesus. And that is the moment when you draw from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in times of trouble. That's the town of draw with Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Come on somebody. James 1, 2 and 3 said, Consider it poor joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials, many kinds, because you know that testing of your faith produces, come on somebody, because let me tell you something, trouble is going to come. Yes, Believe it or not, yes. trouble is going to come. Yes, My storm may not be your storm. My, God. My, God. my storm is different from your storm. Yes. As my pastor preached a couple months back, it doesn't matter if it's a category one or a category two, if it's even a tornado, all you have to do is trust God and know that he is in the storm with you and he will take you through it. Come on, somebody. You can't afford to stay in the storm. If you have to push your way through the storm, because if you stay in the storm, it will only beat you and batter you, bruise you. It will beat one but a bruise. You come on, somebody. You have to fight your way through it with the help of God. And let the enemy know that this battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Somebody shout in the house, but God. But God. So what the, what's the battle you are facing today? Could be financial battle. Sickness battle. Husband battle. Wife battle. Just Trust God through the process. Yeah. Trust him through the process. Because he will come through for you. Glory, glory be to God. Listen to that month when you fall short on your mortgage or your rent. And you didn't have the slightest idea of where the funds would have come from. But God provides for you. Come on, this is the place where you shout No, God provides for you when you know where your rent was coming from. Because he is a provider. He is a heavy lower lifter. 
he is a burden bearer. Yeah. That time when he should have died in that accident. But God showed up. God showed up for you. I said, God showed up for you. A couple years ago, as I shared before, I was in an accident back in Jamaica. Long time ago, I was younger. A minibus turned over with me at Junction, on Junction Corner. I know many of you, you know, know Junction. If you know Junction Corner, you know how Junction Corner is. Ilan Gully, you know, by his precipice and all those things. And so, there were a lot of corners. So, any vehicle that turned over those gullies, yes, and people came out alive, would have been lucky. The driver that was driving the bus was drinking, and so we didn't know that he was drunk because everyone was having a good time. You know, you come back from graduation, you're happy, you're not singing, everybody happy in the bus, having a good time. So, nobody paid attention to the driver. Everyone was happy. No one realized that. The driver was under the influence. So maybe his brain got kind of foggy. Or he was sleeping while driving because that, is, that was what alcohol do to you. It impaired your vision. Yes, yes, yes. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. I see doubles and triples. And so he lost control of the bus. That caused it to overturn. But somebody said, but God. But God was right on the spot to let that big rock prevent it from rolling over the precipice. Because if that rock was not there, then I maybe I wouldn't be here today. Maybe I wouldn't be here today. Or maybe I would have lost some limbs or something like that. But God. But God. But God. But God shows up at the right time. Because he's an on-time God. The songwriter said he may not come when you want him. But he always come on time. He's an on-time God. That's what it is. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. My pastor always shared of the time when he was driving from Florida. And fall asleep around the steering wheel. And he woke up in a different town. He did not know how he reached there. <laughs> but he told me to shut about God again. About God. You see, while he was sleeping... While he was sleeping, the angels were encamping around him. And some were holding bricks. Some were pressing gas. Some were stopping up stoplight. Some were putting an indicator. Some were anking arms. Oh, God Almighty, so he could not meet in an accident. Because the angels were just hovering over him. They were just doing their jobs. Glory be to God, best name of the Lord. Yes, we cannot fathom God. We cannot fathom God. No matter how we try to wander and try to work it out. Just pray and leave it there. Just pray and leave it there. I pray and leave it right there. I thank God that he's a God of a second chance. He's a God of a second chance. Come on, somebody. Whenever God shows up in your situation, he always has a plan. He always has a plan. He said, the plan I have for you is to prosper you and not to harm you. I plan to give you a hope and a future. Come on, somebody. That means if God has all this plan for us, Amen. then we're worried. Amen. Then we can pray. Amen. He said, he's going to give us a new hope and future. Amen. All things are passed away. Come on, somebody. And behold, all things become new. Tell somebody that won't always be like this. God will perfect us concerning this. Sooner or later, you're going to work in my favor. And you put your the name there. Sooner or later, he's going to work in Barry's Lawrence favor. Come on, somebody. Because life and death lies in the power of your tongue. And so we have to speak over our situation. Speak over ourselves. Glory be to God. Sooner or later, you're going to work in various Lawrence favor. Put your name there. I'm putting my name here. Because God specializes in the impossible. What seems impossible to man is possible with God. Bless the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah in the house today. Somebody shall glory in the house today. Some of us sometimes doesn't even have a 
certain credential to get a party kill your job. But God granted you and merit favor come on somebody. And you say to yourself, Lord, my lucky correction is not luck. God no work with luck. He showed up when you least expected him come on somebody. Because he's a God of favor. Sometimes God's work undercover. Undercover. You know those secret service agents? When you don't have the slightest idea that you are watching, that they are watching you. But only one day, you hear a knocking at your front door. And you wonder who it is. And if you don't open that door, they will kick it off. Because they have as much evidence to convict you. Come on, somebody. So they are not asking you no question more than putting two big bags up your hand. Glory be to God. So that the same way God will fight your battle for you. He will fight your back with the least expected him. No matter what your circumstances are, just talk to God. The songwriter said, just like a talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your struggle, man. He will hear your prayer and he will answer you by and by. Don't underestimate the power of God. It's the God that God did not leave our first seat, Joseph. God did not leave our forsake Joseph. Nothing. Sometimes when we're going through a situation and it seems as if God had forgotten about you, just don't give up. Don't give up. Because what the enemy wants, that's what the enemy wants. Just fasten your seatbelt and ride out the storm. The Bible said he will be with you till the end. And the end is what matters. All what's going on in the middle is just the process just the process Hallelujah. the disappointments hey. the headache yes. the tears mm -hmm. the sadness mm -hmm. the loneliness yes. the struggle yes they're a part of the journey yes. they're a part of your breakthrough believe it or not but just believe and trust in him and God will come through for you come on somebody the songwriter said he may not come when you want him but he always be on time he's an on time God that what is it come on somebody bless the name of the Lord but God but God but God oh can I forget about Noah Noah had a but God moment when the people were mocking and laughing at him because he was building an ark in a hot and dry season. That didn't make any sense. Oh, you're going to build an ark in a hot and dry season, rain or fall. That didn't make any sense. No rain was falling, so the question may have asked, why is he building an ark in a hot and humid time? I could only imagine how oh, they were laughing at him. And to, and to make it even worse, when he was finished being in the ark, he started to gather his family and every kind of animal in the ark. I can imagine that at the time they would start to jeer him. I can assume they were saying, this man is a psycho. He needs some psych evaluation. Come on, somebody. But nevertheless, no, I was still doing what the Lord said. Until all of a sudden, maybe the clouds started to get dark. The clouds started to get dark. And they start to feel like maybe I will go one drop or two drop of rain. Glory be to God. Yeah. And they didn't know what it was. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the cloud burst open. Like, I can imagine all they start running to the heart for shelter. Call if a father Noah. Glory be to God. But that time, it was too late. Yeah. The door had already shut. Come on, somebody. I could only imagine the look that was on their faces. I said, God had come too for Noah. So all that embarrassment that he was facing when the people were laughing at him was no more. God burst the cloud open. And the rain started to pour down. The rain started to pour down. Glory be to God. The scripture said, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be today. People will be having fun. Some will be in the party. Some in the rum bar. Some in the gambling shop. Some will be even in church. People of God, let us be ready. Because time waits on no man. 
Let us pray for our unsaved families and friends. Glory be to God, I'm coming down. I was talking to somebody over the phone a couple months back that was a backslider. And I said to him, you know, you need to give up your life to God again and start going to church. And his answer was, from when I was a child growing up, me hear that God will come, and I know God can't reach it. See, we have to pray for our unsaved families. Glory be to God, because the scripture said, we know not when God is going to come. We know not when in the minute and the hour is going to come. Glory be to God. So we need to pray for them that they will surrender their life to God. Bless yeah. the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Remember, prayers move mountains. Yes, yes, yes. And when God shows up in your life, either you or your situation yeah. will change. That's right. Glory be to God. Put your hands together. And give the Lord some but God praise in the house today. Somebody shout, but God! Glory be to God. Please put your hands together and welcome our ministers.